everybody, Tony here at Knee High Farms, and I thought today we'd bring you a video of all the best trail cam footage we caught this year in 2023. So stay tuned. All right, so the best of our trail cam footage starts off with a bang, folks. We got our dancing bear that made a reappearance on the homestead this year. Look at him getting his dance on, getting those apples. Do the waltz for us, Mr. Bear. Or the tango. Or just sit down and eat your apples. <laughs> Very excited, though, that we were able to catch him this year. I wasn't sure we were going to because, you know, it had been pretty quiet. And it still remains pretty quiet uh, on the homestead even as I'm making this video. So a uh, little disappointing with the uh, lack of activity the last few months. Oh, there we go. We got him in a nice standing posture. Look at him walking on those two legs. He walks better than some people I know. <laughs> Just chowing down and eating his apples. And we had a great apple crop. Now, another exciting ca capture we got was the, uh, the uh, bobcat. Uh, very excited. Only caught him one time. Um, so I don't know if he got spooked and left us for good or not, but we did catch him this one time in a looks like a rainy night. So very excited to get him. Hopefully he'll return. And in this next video, um, I've said in a couple of videos in the past when we've done trail cams, you know, animals do coexist with one another. And here's a great case in point. You got a deer eating an apple and a bunny just kind of checking them out. So they're getting along and being peaceful. It's nice to see that coexistence. And in here, we have a little bit more of a tense situation. We got a deer and a raccoon. Now, raccoons are kind of a moody little creature and, uh, you know, not too social, as you'll see here. Um, the deer's like, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> but, yeah, see how they're looking at each other, sizing each other up? Oh, yeah, man. And in here we caught some mysterious running figure. I don't know if you caught it, but it was on the right-hand middle of the screen there, right in front of the car license plate. Something mysterious ran across the camera and couldn't make it out. Sometimes we catch questionable, unexplainable things here on the trail cams at Knee High Farms. So, was it a ghost or was it a person? We'll never know. And then on this next uh, video, we got a house cat that seems to want to pay us a visit. We have a neighbor about uh, half a mile down the road from us, and they have a house cat. Or it could be a cat from another neighbor, who knows. But this one here also tor torments our shop cat, Marshy Mellows. Because, uh, you know, he sleeps in the shop at night. And I caught a video that I think will be on this best of here, where you're going to hear him meowing really loud outside and driving our cat Marsh nuts. So he might be the guilty vi uh, verdict. And then speaking of Marsh, we uh, took a couple of videos of him just kind of being out and about. Um, this is caught up at Forgotten Trail. Um, just him checking out his uh, territory on a nice uh, summer day or late spring. And there's another video of our shop critter. This cat is very well, uh, well behaved, knows his boundaries and stays close. So. Uh, very smart cat very smart and then here I believe is where uh, if it's not this one it might be the next loop where you'll hear that cat meowing from the outside um, and driving marsh nuts so uh, and I'm thinking it was that house cat we showed earlier so yeah and then here um, just got a random video of marsh just playing in the shop you know this is his playground you know I mean it's his house so uh, having a little middle of the night Hi, Jinx. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing there. And in there, I don't know if you saw in the bottom right hand, left hand corner, something blurry kind of ran fast by the camera. I'm not sure, but it looks like whatever it was, it was spooked by the light that came on at the main house. So, uh, another mystery capture. And in here, uh, it looks like uh, we caught some kind of bug or some kind of little creature you were going to see here in a second. Um, wasn't quite sure. I could, I chalked it up in the mystery cat column. Uh, probably just a bug. So, but, oh, see, how oh, this went by real quick. 
mystery bug or mystery something. <laughs> and then this next capture is really cool. Check this out. See that wisp going by? What is that? Is that a ghost? You know, we are near haunted land, so it could be a ghost. Could be fog. Who knows? We'll never know. <laughs> and then there's that house cat again. So we caught him a couple times. So, yeah, I'm thinking more and more that, that he is the uh, culprit of uh, driving Marsh nuts over. So. And, you know, he's taking a big risk being out there in the middle of the night, too. You know, we got coyote, bear, bobcat. I mean, he's, he's playing with fire. He must be right off the camera because we still got the camera on. And then here we caught our uh, cool looking one-eyed jack coyote. This one I call one-eyed jack because he's only got a one-eyed shiner. Um, and he's kind of a cool, cool coyote, so uh, definitely had to put him in the best of. And then here, uh, first time ever catching on camera, a porcupine. Um, now he had been around here for a couple of weeks actually, and he would was uh, mostly camping out by my house but this one we caught him on one of our trail cams up at coyote canyon but yeah first time for that and then first time for this we caught a possum on the trail cam no mistake in that look but yeah first time for him first time for a porcupine so maybe they'll make a return appearance in the upcoming year and those possums man they are uh, definitely a prey um, you know, I mean, that's, they're taking a risk being out there at night. <laughs> yeah. And in here, there's the house cat again. So it looks like we caught him three times. Um, yeah, I wish I knew who he belonged to. I, you know, the more I think about it, I don't think it is the neighbor down below because they have a kind of a tannish tabby like we have, like Marsh is. Um, and I've never seen this one down around there so it's probably from a completely different neighbor who knows it's a good sized cat I mean you can see it's got some meat on the bones but still taking a risk being out here in the middle of the night I hope I don't take a walk one of these days and you know find him somewhere and in here for uh, this year we had actually caught some uh, adolescent coyotes um, as you can see here we got two youngins playing with each other having fun frolicking around and forgotten trail and then here we caught a weasel for the first time and he had a very short uh, life term here at the homestead because our dog Blitz got to him and uh, that was the end of him so anyways uh, just some of the top of videos that we thought we'd bring you uh, as a recap for 2023 all right everybody so that concludes our best of 2023 trail cam footage videos I hope you enjoyed and Stay tuned for 2024 where hopefully we'll be bringing you even more exciting trail cam captures. Take care and Happy New Year.